Hi, my name is Joshua Rodriguez. I'm a sophomore at Grand Canyon University, and I'm majoring in business management. Today, we're going to talk about technology and its effects on society. Society's ambition to develop a better future has been the result of the enhancement and establishment of technology. We can see this, for example, the Apple Watch. The Apple Watch carries a lot of features that not any other regular watch carries. While a regular watch just tells time, the Apple Watch has the ability to help you answer phone calls, read emails, etc. Now, technology can serve a few purposes, with which I'm going to talk to you about only three. Uh, the first one is that it has allowed for the easy access of communication. Second, it has also allowed for easy access of the internet. And third, it has allowed for companies uh, to develop an automation system. Now, technology is used not only by business people, but as well as a common person, where they can talk to their relatives. So one way technology has erupted in society was that of the development of the cell phones. Cell phones have become a major thing in society today where everybody carries a cell phone. It's very interesting though because at the very beginning when cell phones were created, they were really huge, now they're really small. That carry small microchips, that carry a lot of information in just a small amount of space. It's also interesting how cell phones communicate, help people communicate with people either locally or worldwide without even having to be connected through a landline. Now, with cell phones, you can make calls, you can make texts, or you can even email people. Now, another way that people can communicate with cell phones is with applications. Applications such as FaceTime or Skype. This is another way where people communicate, like business people or relatives who miss their other, uh, their loved ones. Now, with Skype and FaceTime, it's considered as a video chat. So you get to see the people and hear their voice at the same time. Another topic that we're going to talk about is how technology has influenced the internet access. Technology has allowed society to have a better access to the internet. And one of those ways is with the World Wide Web. Ever since 1995, the amount of people that have had the ability to have internet access has boomed. For example, in this quote by internet users, Around 40% of the world's population has an internet connection. In 1995, it was less than 1%, which tells you that technology has erupted vastly, a whole lot. Now, it talks about here how with the internet access, we have the ability for us to go onto the website and find books, find journals, find articles. With the internet, you do not have to take time off your day and go to the library. Although the library does carry a lot of great references, great books, the internet has allowed people a better way to search articles on the computer or on a cell phone. Another way, another thing that technology has helped with internet access is the access to download applications, books, and resources. One of the ways that people use the internet is mostly for video streaming or to download music. Nowadays, we recognize how when we download music, iTunes is a big thing. When we video stream, it's coming from YouTube. So those are a few examples where internet has helped society develop a better future for themselves. Lastly, so technology has helped industries and companies to develop an automation system. This automation system is really great because it helps companies thrive and be more effective than, having, uh, than taking up their time either with manual labor or any other substance that will hold them back from being efficient. For example, in the car industry, the car industry has developed robots, have developed an assembly line where it's just robots, where cars are just passed down a conveyor belt and robots make the car. It's interesting because the conveyor belt is one form of technology that was developed way back when in 1905. However, Henry Ford was the one who revolutionized having the conveyor belt because he was the one who used it for the making of the Ford cars. Right here it talks about, in 1913, Henry Ford revolutionized the world of mass production with his conveyor belt assembly line, Govet 2015. Another way that automation has helped society with the help of technology is with governmental agencies. We all know that the government has a long waiting list or a waiting time when somebody calls. 
Now, the government has applied an automation system where a machine answers your phone call, grabs all your information, all your data, so that once a representative answers the phone call, they know exactly what it is that they're talking about and to whom they are talking about. And this helps society with, uh, this automation system helps society so it can be more efficient. Technology's efficiency is very important. This quote here says, large percentages of Americans who use online technology do indeed see its benefits, namely doing more in less time, working from anywhere, relishing the thrill of trying new technology. Technology has helped the business industry and has helped people, regular people, to be more efficient in their communication, having the easy access to the internet, and being able to have an automation system. Now people say that technology may be a danger. However, the misuse of technology is the danger. So I want to challenge you that if you want to use technology, use it wisely because technology will help you in the establishment of a better future. Thank you.